Hello everyone and welcome to the second video of a trader's vlog wherein I try to share with you all of my trading decisions whether it's right or wrong in the hope that we can all learn from them. So for today, uh, besides going through my uh, trading decisions, I would share with you uh, some basics about candlestick patterns. Okay. So these are the two uh, types of candles, I would say. So one is a green one, the other one is a red one. Green one meaning the price appreciated for that day, and then red one is the other way around. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the body, the real body, is the open and close uh, price range. Okay, so obviously, if the close is higher than the open, then it means your stock uh, appreciated. Okay, the stock price appreciated, and the upper and lower shadow is the range of price that your stock actually went through during the whole trading day okay so both are equally important the 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 wick the upper and the lower shadow and also the real body um, data will give you will tell you a lot actually uh, now candlesticks usually usually um, is not used alone or standalone eh? so you would usually look for different patterns uh, consecutive patterns I would say so different uh, a lot of candlesticks different candlesticks and then you will spot uh, which kind of pattern it's actually following so in this um, uh, website stockcharts.com so you would see all of these basic candlestick patterns okay and then it will tell you all the description and then whether it's a bullish pattern or a bearish pattern pattern so bullish meaning it would continue its uptrend bearish meaning it's uh it's on a downtrend okay personally um well for candlestick patterns i would look at the doji type of candlesticks so like in this case it's a dragonfly doji so usually dragonfly doji you would see it um, when the pattern or the trend sorry when the trend is on a bearish side or going down okay so going down 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 how many days it's going down and then you see a dragonfly doji it usually means that it is a turning point so the market will now turn to be a, a bullish pattern or a positive one so remember dragonfly doji needs to come in after a bearish pattern or bearish trend on the other hand you can see a gravestone doji gravestone doji happens uh, if it's a bullish pattern so how many days it's going up 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 and then you see this gravestone doji it would usually mean that it is time to sell because in the next few days the price will actually go down okay so for me this is what i would usually look for in a candlestick pattern if you're a more professional trader then all of this you can identify at one glance okay but if you're a beginner trader okay so usually you would stick to the the few more obvious uh, patterns like in this case okay so yeah just quickly going back to the gravestone doji so why is it why is it what's the psychology behind it so basically this one means that at the open opening price uh the value of let's say is 3.64 let's say and then the buyers tried to increase the price and then they bought it bought bought 3.8 3.9 whatever and then at the end of the day the sellers prevailed so the price did not move and then yeah there's a lot of sellers so the sentiment actually changed so as i mentioned gravestone doji usually is from an upward trend and then this one will signify you that the sellers are here okay the sellers are there or, or the buyers turn to be sellers because they're um, uh, taking profits already so this one will signify you a downward trend uh, after uh, this gravestone doji so that is how you basically uh, interpret a, a candlestick pattern okay so you go through the psychology behind it so that's why i mentioned it's not only the real body but also the shadows are very important okay so um so let's try to take a look at it in practical application so just let's just see a few so like uh, okay so let's change it to mega world so like in this case you see this one is a classic case of a gravestone doji so you can see from the dates okay so this is your january 23rd 
so it's coming up so it's on the three day uh, bullish or upward trend and then you see a gravestone doji here it means the sellers are prevailing or the buyers are turning to be a sellers and then the price did not move and then in the next succeeding days uh, yeah we confirmed that this one goes down went down okay so yeah uh, let me try to see if you have a dragonfly doji somewhere uh, yeah so yeah okay so I wanted to uh, point out to you as well that it doesn't mean that you see a gravestone doji like in this case it's July 13 so you see this one is a two day um, going up then you see a gravestone doji there then you're expecting it to go down already actually no like in this case it still managed to go up and then trended sideways so it doesn't mean that if you see a gravestone doji it's 100 percent the price would go down just like any indicators nothing is 100 percent okay if this is 100 percent then a lot of people would be very very rich already okay but you need to to strike a balance whether uh, you would want to sell already or just keep on holding and then if you believe that this one will still go up okay okay uh, the other one is i wanted to share with you is also the the this is an easy as well uh, easy pattern to recognize also where is it your three white soldiers and then the three black crows so the three black crows usually is a sign of a bearish pattern so if you see three successive um red candles or black candles uh going lower and lower and lower then that would signify that the trend will continue the bearish trend will continue and the price uh, will go down on the other hand if you see three white soldiers or three green candlesticks for that matter then it signifies that the buyers are still very much interested and in that the price may still go up so like in this case this one is a three uh, candlesticks on the green side and then as you can see it further uh, moved up uh, until it gave you a gravestone doji so this is a good example of a three white soldier going up so this one also is a three uh, black crows and then yeah as you can see the price continued to go lower so if you're doing a short term trading so this all these uh, candlestick patterns you need to be very familiar um, yeah if you're doing long term then this one doesn't really bother you at all so yeah so I mean not so much at least because uh, you would usually uh, uh, look at the fundamentals of that of a, a particular company if you're doing a long-term eh? investing okay so just to quickly wrap up my trading portfolio I mean my portfolio for today so what happened was I increased my um, uh, position with AGI because I find that this one is a very attractive uh, price already okay so if you see AGI and also based on my MACD my MACD is um, yeah so this one uh, hopefully it will cross over in the next few days but yeah the candlestick is not very good because this is a full body red so it means th it's a strong tendency to to continue its downward trend but in any case I think I'm still safe with my 12.78 average price so I just keep this one and then observe I'm not really very concerned with this negative 1000 pesos uh, uh, paper loss so I'll just keep it there because I know that this one will eventually recover so Ayala Land I also increased my position from 100 shares to 300 shares because of the positive news that they're planning to open 11 malls in 2017 so I think that one would um, help with their bottom line so fundamentally speaking they're in a good position Kalata Corporation uh, I don't care much about this one as I mentioned I just did a profit taking for this one so this one is just to monitor keep it there Semix Holdings I think this one would benefit the so-called golden age of infrastructure this year so there's a lot of uh, uh, infrastructure projects by the government so hopefully it will translate to better bottom line for Semex Holdings fill in mess nothing much is happening here uh, mega world mega world as you can see this one used to be I think 15 or 18,000 uh, shares and then I did some profit taking a while ago when this one went to 3.71 actually the highest is I think 3.72 but I decided to 
do some profit taking already at 3.71 the reason is yeah i would usually check this one once in a while the bid volume and the ask volume so now it's not very accurate because the market is closed obviously but pretty much you can gauge from the bid and ask price okay the bid price the bid volume and the ask volume whether a particular uh, uh, particular stock will continue its upward trend or downward so i saw millions and millions already uh, of people selling i mean sorry of stocks being sold so that's why i decided that okay um, i think tomorrow uh, a while ago at least it will not go to it will not break uh, 3.72 that's why i did some profit taking but anyway if this one goes back to to a more uh, favorable uh, price then I would enter Mega World again. So that's how I do usually with Mega World because Mega World fundamentally is still very good. So I don't think this one will 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 crash down uh, to <laughs> to three three something or what uh, three point five or what. So Miracle and Metro Pacific, as I mentioned, these are two uh, good companies for long term. So I'm just sticking them, sticking with them not really doing anything i increased my portfolio to mpi a while ago because i found i find that six point something i bought it at six six point nine if i'm not mistaken so i just averaged down a bit and then increased my position but this one again is just there for for monitoring purposes okay so yeah that's it so now we have a ninety one thousand buying uh, power so tomorrow i'm looking at uh, first gen and also MBT so if the price if there is no gap so you see gap up already for MBT so if but I think this one is still a good price to enter so if if the gap is not very very high then I plan to maybe do some uh, uh, buying for this stock I think it's very good um, and yeah some analysts are saying it's still at uh, 81 point something is still a very discounted price so um, I'm thinking of entering this one by tomorrow. Also, FGen. FGen is um, this one can go both ways, uh, but I think it's on the resistance level already. So once it gives a sign of transgressing through that resistance, then probably I'll do some test buying also for FGen. Other than that, um, nothing else. The s other stocks that I'm monitoring monitoring are not very exciting. So only those two two stocks for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's it. So uh, thank you. Thank you for joining me in the second video. I hope you learned something. And then I'll see you again in the next videos. Bye-bye.